Okay, guys, in a little bit before Austin goes to bed, Raph and I are going to tell Austin that he was officially invited to be part of this program called the Quest Program. It is a program for highly capable students. We'll see how his reaction is. We have something to tell you. You officially got invited to join the Quest Program. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and today um, we're going to surprise my sister at the market. So she has been working at the Ballard Market for the past few weeks now um, for a place that she's interning for. It's like a pottery place. And today she is selling her pottery for the very first time. So I'm excited. She doesn't know that we're coming. She invited us, but I was like, eh, we'll try. We're going. We're definitely going. We have to go. Uh, my parents fly in from California this morning, um, so I think we're just going to meet at like South Center Mall, maybe have lunch there real quick, and then head over to the market. So I'm going to take you guys with us. Also, over the weekend, I did like a little revamp of our bedroom. First of all, I'm a horrible decorator. I just don't know. Like I can never make commitments to like room decor, so that's why like our house, as far as decoration, it's so minimal. Um, but our bedroom was just looking so like blah. Like I didn't enjoy going in there because it was just either always a mess or it's just so I don't know there's just not it wasn't a feel-good area for me so um Friday night yeah was it Friday night I ended up just going to the store I told Rafa I was like I need to go do something with my life like I need to go I need a revamp of something I need a refresh so I went to Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx to get some stuff for the room for our bedroom and I ended up finding some cute stuff at TJ Maxx. Hobby Lobby, like, I, maybe it's because I got overwhelmed and I really didn't know what I was looking for. But TJ Maxx had everything that I needed. So let me show you. So when you walk in, um, I just totally, I just changed the layout of the room. I went back to our original layout of how it was last summer. Because now that it's getting warmer, I don't mind being under the window. I repositioned the bed back here. I moved our rug down here. And then I moved our tall desk that was out in the living room that was like just basically collecting dust. I put it here, so this is where I'm gonna put like my laptop whenever we watch movies in the room at night. There's our kid's calendar. And I moved the mirror here so it's still nice. It's So it's still in a good area where you can kind of see how you look after you get dressed. And then I finally used the kid's bookcase. It was like empty for the longest time. I had no idea what to do with it. And I got these cute little like grass, tall grass decor at TJ Maxx, those were like about $10 each, or no, maybe less than $10 each. And then this fun macrame decoration, I really love this one. I have like a on and off love for the macrame because I just feel like sometimes it gets overused, but then I just loved, I ended up really loving this one because it looks like a tree and it's like the tree of life. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I just really liked it. And then I got these fun little um, side tables. Uh, they actually have a built-in electric plug in them so if you look in the back there's two ports for usb and then one actual plug and then it has this plug that goes underneath obviously this is my side i have my journal uh, my current book that i'm reading and my oracle cards that i love to start my day off with and then that's Raph's side he hasn't put anything on there yet <laughs> um right yeah and right now these are the kids outfits for the day they're all in the bathtub right now so as they usually as they're in the bathtub that's when I get their clothes ready so this is Isla's little outfit and this is Adrian's and this is oops let's get these wipes out of the way oh and this is Isla's little diaper center um and then this is Austin's outfit but yeah so now I'm gonna get my stuff ready as the kids finish up and then I'm gonna get them out of the bathtub and then we're gonna be on our way we're finally here after having a little hard time finding parking but we're here and we're looking for Alexis booth now I have no idea where she is um, and this is a really big market so let's go look for her
Look how cute she is. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at her little setup here. Oh my gosh, this is this is it, guys. Lexa Luna Studio. This Lexa is her cute Luna. little business cards. No, right here, mommy. No, but this is Ninang's. That's Ninang's work. Oh, oh, there yeah. It is. Look how nice that is. So she um, interns at the Yutang Ceramics here in Seattle. I know. Oh, oh, Austin, please put it down. Don't touch. Adrian, don't touch. You good? <laughs> Hold on, Isla. This is not the space for you to come out. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, my little farmers. And what are you gonna be planting now? Strawberries. Yep, strawberries. Gee. Oh, there's tons of rocks down here. Yes. Careful. Just do it on the side, baby. Got more. Just on the side. Don't throw it. Don't. Okay. Adrian. 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 Yeah, make sure. Yeah, yeah, there you go. How about the other one, too? Go closer to that tomato. Over there? Yeah. Go closer to the tomato, baby. Oh. Yeah, get the water in on that around the tomato. Okay. Up there, up, yeah. up. There. Okay, guys. In a little bit, before Austin goes to bed, Raf and I are going to tell Austin that he was officially invited to be part of this program called the Quest Program. It's really exciting because it is a program for highly capable students, meaning every student in his grade takes a special test and if they score a certain percentage or if they score above a certain percentage, they are invited to be part of this program. So it's for advanced learning. The things that they learn are above their grade level. So. Um, the only catch is, is that it's at a different school and he loves his school right now, <laughs> which of course, like, you know, any kid who has lots of friends, like it's hard, it's hard to make that change again, especially since we just moved here last year. It's not like he's going to be far away. He would actually still leave and come back to that same school because there's like a special shuttle bus that will transfer them to and from that other school that he would end up going to. But yeah, like, I just think it would be so cool if he decided to do this. I just feel like when he comes, you know, home with homework, it's pretty easy for him. So um, I think he would really enjoy the challenge. I don't know. I will see how he takes it because we've talked about it a little bit before and as excited as he was, he was really hesitant because of the school change. So I don't know. We'll see how his reaction is. We'll see if he takes it well or if he's not going to want to do it. And either way, Raph and I will support him. But we'll most likely go to the informational night that they're providing for parents um, so then we can kind of get more up to speed about what exactly this program entails and what it has to offer and the pros and cons of it all. So, I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right, it is bedtime for these little ones. Well, this one's already KO. This one just woke up from a really long nap, but you're gonna go to sleep again soon. <laughs> so Austin, mm -hmm. we have something to tell you. What? You officially got invited to join the Quest program. Officially? Yeah, you passed. So I have to go? <laughs> you don't have to go, but... But the test you take and everything. Yeah, you it means you're like extra smart. Good job, buddy. Wow, I'm big. It's not happening right now, Austin. You don't have to do about it right now. Uh, uh, you know, if you don't want to go, you, you, we don't have... I mean, no one's forcing you to go, but... Just know that this is this program is for like extra smart kids, mm -hmm. and I heard like you learn like more cool stuff there. You get to do more fun things. Like you won't get bored with schoolwork. You're gonna learn exciting things. Like what? I don't know, but it's more advanced. It's like daddy, daddy Smarty Pants School. school. 
What, babe? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about over there? Austin's following in my footsteps. He's following in your footsteps? He is actually. Either way, Austin, congratulations, because that just means you're you're smart and you're testing higher than your normal grade. Hey, good job, buddy. I should have done my school and say, like, yes, right off the bat, but... Yeah? When I make up, I want to go to school. Yeah, you are, buddy. With you will. Korea. Yeah, you want to go to school with Korea? Hold my hand. Yes, he but, will. But, Mommy, huh? then we won't be in, like, the same... Cool. Yeah, but you'd be going to, you'd still be meeting him before and after school. You'd be going at the same time. That's right. So, so mm. the bus will pick me up over there. Yeah. And well, obviously, this is a big decision for him because this means he's going to have to go to a different school, so he'll, have, he'll get to make new friends. That's the positive wording. You get to make new friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to public school. What? He's not as excited as I thought he was going to be, but... Well, I am. It's just a hard decision. It is a hard decision. You don't have to make it now. Okay, well, that's it for today's vlog. Adrian, do you want to say bye? Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. bye.